Railway transport in Britain is at an all-time high. With such frequent use, safety on the nation's rail has become increasingly more important. In order to ensure safe travel, tracks must be monitored and maintained sufficiently to keep transport routes free from danger. A prime example of why this is needed is the prevention of rail disasters, such as the Hadfield rail crash in the year 2000, caused by rolling contact fatigue. This is a common rail defect which is easy to detect and repair. Here at Manchester Metropolitan University, the School of Science and Engineering are working to improve the track inspection technology. Okay, so my name's uh, Dr. Johnson. Uh, I work here as a senior lecturer at Manchester Metropolitan University. Uh, my research expertise is in machine vision systems, particularly for the rail industry. Uh, I'm also the pathway leader for the rail MSc we're also designing and we're working closely with industry to try and improve the skills gap which it's currently suffering from. So the state of track inspection technologies in the UK for rail and light rail industry um, is advancing quickly but it's still not up to the level which it could be. Uh, a majority of it still relies on individual walking and visually inspecting the line for surface bound de defects especially. Uh, things like RCF or squats, um, corrugation. They're all potential defects that can be easily picked up with a machine vision system, so using a high speed video camera to look and inspect the surface of the rail and eliminate the risk factor of having to actually walk along and uh, visually inspect these things. So the, my research here started way back about seven or eight years ago with a European led initiative to uh, improve the light rail industry. Um, I started developing a machine vision system to visually inspect the rail. Uh, looking for these surface bound defects and this is advanced from these uh, very simple kind of visual inspections to uh, passive inspection using MEMS technology which analyzes the signature tune of the vehicle that passes over the track and looks for patterns and uh, reliability in, time, in the way in which it reacts. So the projects currently ongoing at the university uh, are focused around the Marvin suite of technology and these are the vision inspection systems uh, the MEMS based systems but also laser profiling so we're fully automating the suite uh, allowing a company to take a full kind of dynamic picture of the rail asset looking at surface bound defects uh, classifying them looking at growth over time uh, taking the 3D profile and looking at wear rate over time so you can actively predict when you need to replace track and also looking at the signature tune from the MEMS technology so that each vehicle can be inspected for its interaction uh, so that if there's certain defects with a wheel set or something on individual vehicles that can be picked up and corrected before further damage occurs to the track. The current technology has been adopted by Sheffield Supertram to trial it and make it more industrialised. So a lot of it has been up to TRL level 6 where it's been tried in the environment but it's not necessarily suitable for uh, an untrained technician to mount and use the technology. So we're working closely to try it all out, uh, basically put it all in a box to make it nice and secure and make it as easy for the light rail sector as well as the rail sector to utilise this technology. Uh, for the future, there's lots of research grants available. Uh, with the modern te developments in Crossrail and HS2, there's always room for improvement, and as technology develops so quickly, there's a lot of use to apply it in different fashions. Uh, we've just put a bid in for some research into developing a modern bogey, looking to improve its capabilities in terms of monitoring. So again, it's one of these where visual inspection is used heavily to inspect its uh, capability to look for defects and fractures or any failing mechanisms. Uh, so what we're going to do is invent a very novel suite of uh, sensors. We've already started kind of working on a few of them and incorporate this into our signature tune analysis technology where we use uh, machine learning algorithms, not necessarily to kind of develop when the uh, component's going to fail, but have a look at what condition the component's in look for changes as it goes on and then characterise that as it's going to fail or when it needs maintenance or where preventative action can be uh, put in place. With the ever-increasing strain in public transport and the ever-growing populace, 
Research here at Manchester Metropolitan University paves the way for much needed innovation in rail safety. Thank <laughs> you.